Hey guys, it's Coach Williams. Uh, you know, this is our first video lecture of this uh, online learning experience. I plan on uploading video lectures every single Monday for here on out for whatever chapter we're doing right now. Uh, but before we begin, I want to tell you guys I'm extremely proud of you. Uh, you know, you've been put in this weird situation with this transition of online learning and you guys have done a great job so far. So, you know, I'm proud of you guys. Continue to do your work. Don't view this as a break. View this as a time to learn, kind of at your own pace and kind of more freely. Uh, but continue to be mature. Continue to get your work done in all your classes. Uh, and, you know, we're gonna get through this together. Okay, we're gonna get through this together. Uh, but today, for today's video lecture, what I wanted to go through is I wanna kind of summarize uh, what you guys have been reading in your guided reading or what you guys have been doing in your guided reading and what you've been reading in your reading essentials. Uh, for this week, uh, I want you to watch this video lecture. I'm also going to assign lesson three of your reading essentials and guided reading. That will be due this Friday for a grade for accuracy, all right? So yes, you're getting a grade for turning in on time, but secondly, you're getting your grade for how accurate it is, you know, is it right, is it wrong, things like that. So again, I'm gonna send out guided reading lesson three to you guys today, along with your reading essentials for lesson three, and you will have to take, uh, well, you have to do your guided reading for a grade uh, for accuracy. All right, uh, so let's begin. All right, so what you guys have read, uh, kind of broken down lessons for you guys. So the first lesson was social reform. The second lesson was abolitionists, and the third lesson was women's movement. Now again, like I said, this is a summary. All right, this is not uh, extremely detailed like you're reading essentials. In it is. I just want to kind of touch base with you guys and make sure we're on the same page because it kind of gets you know distracting reading and trying to understand. And uh, I just wanted you guys to hear my voice. Also, all right. Uh, so social reform, lesson one, let's talk about that. What did we see in that? We saw, well, we talked about reforming religion, education, and the art and literature. Basically, social reform is reshaping something, all right? Uh, you know, how can we change something? How can we move on from something? How can we make something better, okay? We see reform uh, almost every day in our lives, you know? How can I have a better prayer life? How can I have a better... Um, you know, home life with, you know, how can I be a better big brother, a big sister, and things like that. Uh, how can we make Louisiana better? How can we make the United States better? Things like that. So that's all reform is, is trying to make things better and trying to break the mold of something and change something. All right. So in the religion aspect of social reform, we saw the temperance movement. The temperance movement was basically the abolition of alcohol, meaning, um, you know, they saw they viewed alcohol as a, a very bad thing uh, back in the day. They almost saw it as like a cult-like thing, um, you know, a devilish thing. You would say I wouldn't go that far, but they viewed it as a very bad thing. So the temperance movement was basically trying to ban the sale of alcohol, the manufacture of alcohol, and things like that. It lasted for a little bit, but didn't end up lasting for for a while. Okay. Moving on to education. During this time of social reform, we see universities open, colleges open. Uh, you see people, uh, you know, start helping people with disabilities. We saw the, the school for the deaf, the first school for the deaf opened up during the social reform time. So that's how they kind of reformed education was how can we take education seriously? Uh, you know, how can we educate our teachers? How can we uh, help people with disabilities? Meaning we want, to, want, we want fair and equal treatment to all people in education, uh, African-Americans, whites, disabilities, blind, deaf, things like that, okay? Art and literature, social reform, okay? We see Emerson come up, uh, David Thoreau come up. I'm sure you learn about these people in Miss Brainy's class or Miss Robin's class. Uh, very prominent, you know, uh, literature people and art, art people in that aspect of social reform, okay? So that's kind of the gist of lesson one of, you know, these three major things being reformed during that time period. All right, abolitionists, okay? All abolitionists were were people who wanted to end slavery. That's simply put, that, that's it, abolitionists. People wanted to end slavery, okay? So that's our subtopic, how did we end slavery? Well, we saw Frederick Douglass, who ends up becoming, you know, the national spokesperson of 
you know, uh, abolitionist. Uh, you know, so Joyner Truth, she was a woman suffrage leader who went around speaking the truth, all right? That's actually a pseudonym for her name. Uh, they call her so Joyner Truth because she went around speaking the truth to people of like, you know, like, I'm a, a former slave. Uh, these are my experiences and this is why I want to end it and this is how we can end it. Uh, you know, so very, very prominent in that aspect. And then the Underground Railroad, we kind of touched, touched base on that last chapter, uh, but that was just a series of networks to help, you know, slaves escape slavery, all right? Um, and, you know, these three people and these three things, okay, are just like a small tidbit of ending slavery in the abolitionist period. There's so many more prominent people, so many more important people, but I really want to focus on these three, or these two, and then that, um, the Underground Railroad. All right. The second subtopic in lesson two was the reaction. Obviously, there's always going to be a reaction if people are trying to break the mold. All right. So we saw that reaction. We saw, you know, angry, angry Americans back in that day, uh, you know, white Americans going against these people, you know, going against Frederick Douglass, going against Sojourner Truth, trying to, you know, bust up the Underground Railroad. All right. Uh, and, and we see reaction in a lot of reform. So this isn't like a big thing. It was kind of like these people knew, you know, Frederick Douglass and Sojourner Truth and the people helping out with the Underground Railroad, they knew they were gonna face some type of retaliation. And that's what we kind of read in the, the second half of lesson two was all about that retaliation and the reaction to the abolitionist movement, okay? And then finally, the women's movement. This was lesson three. You have not read this yet. I'm going to send it out today, like I said. Okay, so we're going to learn about the women's movement in lesson three. All right, the, re the, the reform portion of the women's movement, the Seneca, Seneca Falls Convention. All that was is that convention was, we want to be equal, you know, women. We are just as important as a man, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, we want to be equal. So the Seneca Falls Convention was, you know, a meeting of women that that's that was pleading their case of you know why they should be paid, why they uh, can have jobs, why they can do the same thing a man can do, why they can have the same rights, same rights as anybody out there. Okay, so that's what the Seneca Falls Convention is, and what you will read more about in your reading essentials. Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Blackwell. Okay, Elizabeth Blackwell. Obviously, well, you guys don't know this. She was the first woman. Uh, and medical college, okay, Susan B. Anthony, uh, you know, uh, a very prominent women's leader speaking about the equality in women, um, stating that they should be paid equal, kind of like we were talking about in the Seneca Falls Convention, uh, you know, equal pay for women, equal work for women, things like that, and not just, you know, uh, you know, white women, African American women, Hispanic women, it's, it's women for everybody, I mean, equal, equal rights for all women across the board. Okay, um, and guys, that's basically just a summary, okay, of the chapter. Again, I, I just kind of want to, you know, you guys to hear my voice. I wanted to make sure we're all on the same page, all right? Uh, I'm going to send out, like I said, guided reading lesson three and reading essentials lesson three today. Your guided reading will be due this Friday by 3 p.m. for a grade, meaning accuracy. That's going to be in your one note, okay? Uh, Guys, if you're having trouble, you know, like you don't have a laptop that you can write on the page or something like that, guys, you are more than welcome to print it out, take a picture of it and send it to me, type it in Word, whatever you guys need to do to, to you know, complete this assignment. I'm very lenient with you guys, uh, willing to work with you guys. So please reach out to me, continue to do the awesome work, proud of you guys.